With his body water soaked and defaced, most people would have kept the casket covered. His mother let the body be exposed. More than 100,000 people saw his body lying the casket here in Chicago. That must have been at the time the largest single civil rights demonstration in American history. How did the murder of Emmett Till and Trow reflect the reality of America's five founding deals before, during, and after it took place? America's five founding ideals are equality, rights, liberty, opportunity, and democracy. The five founding ideals came from the Declaration of Independence written by Thomas Jefferson established on July 4, 1776 in Philadelphia. The Declaration of Independence describes the reason behind why colonies have overthrown Great Britain and chosen to rule themselves as a separate nation in the world. It explains the abuses done by its ruler, George III, its interferences of the colonists' right to self-government. Furthermore, it was what declared the new nation of the United States of America to be born without any further ties with Britain. In addition, it led to the legacy of the five principles, setting forth the vision of a new nation and what it means to be an American. Equality is that treatment does not change, no matter the race, religion, gender, age, and other qualities of an individual. They are all entitled to same liberties, rights, pursuits of happiness, and democratic participation. Some examples are that both genders can vote, both genders can pursue to any career, and African Americans, Hispanics, and white Americans can all eat at the same restaurant. Individual rights are the certain liberties that an individual possesses to pursue to one's opportunities without any interference of another party member. Under no conditions, another individual or the government shall violate the rights bestowed to one since birth. Some examples include the right to life, to protest, to speak to one's thoughts, to own property, and to own a gun. Liberty is the power given to an individual to make their own decisions of their identity, to practice their religion, and the ways they live their life without any interference. Some examples include the freedom to practice any religion, the freedom of one's preferences, and the freedom of one's decisions. Opportunity is that an individual should have equal chances in every area, regardless of their background. Some examples would be employment, marriage, education, and certain benefits. Democracy is a system of government by all members of the population through elected representatives. Its citizens hold most of the power. Some examples would be the voting for leaders and or laws voting to support issues or candidates run for election, protesting, or petitioning government policies. The five founding ideals are fundamentals that serve as a foundation for the system of belief and behavior of America. They are the high standards that every individual has to live up to. They provide a vision of the future and what it means to be an American. The true meaning of America's founding ideals is continuously being debated and redefined. The murder of Emmett Till and Trowell took place in Money, Mississippi on August 24, 1955 as a result of an existing truth that America's founding ideals were not being fully realized by African Americans. During the murder of Emmett Till and Trowell, some of the same ideals were violated. Ultimately, the legacy of the murder of Emmett Till and Trowell would help redefine the true meaning of America's founding ideals. America's founding ideals had not been fully realized by African Americans on the 20th century in 1877, on May 18, 1896, and in 1915 in the southern states of Louisiana and Georgia. Slavery ended after the Civil War in 1865, however it didn't stop the discrimination and injustice against African Americans. The Jim Crow laws started to rise when Reconstruction ended which wanted to rebuild the South's economy and society and abolish the black codes against African Americans. The Jim Crow came from a fictional character popular in America, who portrayed African Americans as uneducated, poor, and inferior race. Later on, Homer Plessy, who was on board in a train in New Orleans, Louisiana, took a seat in a train car only for white Americans. He was then arrested for refusing to get off for violating the segregationist laws. Afterwards, his case went to the Supreme Court on May 18, 1896 and was ruled out in its plessy and set rules enforcing segregation in railways on the condition there were equal quality, known as separate but equal. 
However, this was never the case as for African Americans, it was always inferior and of poor quality. African Americans couldn't eat in the same restaurant with white Americans, drink from the same water fountain, watch movies in the same theaters, go to the same schools, and much more. This demonstrates the brutality and cruelty shown by the white men towards African Americans. They showed extreme racism through drink color laws and treated them less than human. The white Americans didn't want both races to mix together, being anti misogynic. In addition, they further violated the founding ideals of the Declaration of Independence to achieve their satisfaction and vengeance towards them. They were also not afraid of their consequences as they knew the words of a white would overrule any testimony from an African American. In other words, they used their Anglo Saxon superiority towards the inferior race. Next, white American mobs started lynching African Americans without a fair trial. Most of the victims were accused of stealing a cow. Speaking for equality, sexual assault of white women, or defiance to white Americans, even though they were mostly innocent. According to a report by the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, 2,522 African Americans were lynched, hanged, burned alive, or hacked to death between 1889 and 1918. Furthermore, white Americans who were sympathetic towards African Americans were also lynched. They mostly used such violence to control them and to create fear. Additionally, the Ku Klux Klan, a white supremacist hate group, rose in power and was founded in 1915 in the state of Georgia. The KKK's beliefs were to restore America of being a white Christian country free from drugs, homosexuality, immigration, and race mixing, which they believed led to the downfall of the nation. In 1920, membership grew up to 4 million. Most of them dressed up in white robes to hide their identities and carried burning crosses to symbolize terror. They used acts of terrorism such as murder, lynching, arson, rape, and bombing to go against civil rights for African Americans. This demonstrates the violence and inhumanity of white Americans towards African Americans. The white Americans didn't value their lives, and their actions against them were justified by the white society. Furthermore, they disregarded that they were innocent as they all saw them as inferior and that they were the fault of everything that happened in America. In addition, white Americans abhorred them so much, they went to extreme measures of torture and brutality to stop any opportunity of civil rights for African Americans. America's founding ideals were violated during the murder of Emmett Till in trial. Emmett Till was a 14 year old boy from Chicago who went down south to visit his relatives. He came from a working class neighborhood, and even though he attended segregated schools, he wasn't worthy for the segregation in Mississippi. On August 24, 1955, he and a group of teenagers went to Bryant's Grocery in Midmarket, where Till was there to flirt with the owner, Karen Bryant, a white woman. At 2 30 a.m. on August 28, Carolyn's Bryant husband and his half brother, J.W. Millam, decided to teach Emma Till a lesson for sexual harassment. They barged into the house of Moses Wright, where the boys stayed at, and demanded that they wanted to talk to him. Moses Wright, I am the uncle of Emmett Lewis Till. Sunday morning, about 2 30, someone called at the door. And I said, Who is it? And he said, This is Mr. Bright. I want to talk with you and the boy. And when I opened the door, there was a man standing with a pistol in, in one hand and a flashlight in the other hand. And he asked me, Did I have two boys there from Chicago? I told him I have. And he said, I want it. I want the boy that done all that talk. And they marched him to the car and They asked someone there, was this is the right boy? And the answer was, h e a r And they drove toward. Later on, they dragged him away in a truck and severely whipped him inside a barn and gouged out one of his eyes. After witnessing Emmett Till's defiance, they shot him in the head and discarded the body into the Tallahatchie River. Later, Wright reported the kidnapping and Brandt and Millam were arrested. On September 19, 1955, the trial began after finding his dead body on August 31st. 
Since no African American resident was aware history as voters, none of them were allowed to serve as a juror, thus being all white men. Even though Wright identified the kidnappers of Till and those overwhelming evidence against such crime, they were acquitted from further charges. In addition, they were protected from further prosecution because of double jeopardy. Equality is that treatment does not change. We're all people, no matter their race, religion, gender, age, etc., are all entitled to the same liberties, rights, pursuits of happiness, and democratic participation. However, this found ideal was violated by Roy Bryant and J.W. Millen when they admitted their supremacy towards an African boy. They used the power to kill Emmett Till after he was claimed to have wolf whistled and flirted with his wife, Karen Bryant. The man brutally mutilated his body, shot him in the head, and dumped the corpse into the river. However, even though they committed such an outrageous crime, they walked away free from charges without having faced fair justice in the courtroom. Indeed, extreme prejudice was present in the South in their condemnation against African Americans. They didn't treat them with equal respect as they should have, and because of such claimed act done by the teenage boy, the white man decided to violently kill him. Furthermore, African Americans were not allowed to be part of the jury, thus increasing the discrimination against them and showing that they were inferior after ruling out their testimonies and giving the two white men the not guilty verdict. Individual rights are certain conditions or actions people possess which should not be taken away by another individual or government. They are agreed by people or born with, over which rights humans should have or not. This founding ideal, however, was contravened by Brandt and Millam by taking away the life of Emmett Till. They violated his individual rights of living and of deserving proper human rights. They dragged him out of the morning after his flirting and viciously bit him on his face was unrecognizable. They gouged out one of his eyes, they shot him in the head, and disposed his body in the river. In fact, this reveals the atrocity and savagery of the two white men. They have defiled the individual rights of Emmett Till and used their white supremacy to cover themselves from the crime. They didn't consider him as a human being and most likely believed that such rights did not apply to the African American boy nor to any other of the same race. They even went as far as to use extreme brutal measures to give him a lesson and then just decided to kill him without hesitation. In the end, the murder of Emmett Till in trial would help redefine the true meaning of American ideals. I thought about Emmett Till and I could not go back. My legs and feet were not hurting, that is a stereotype. I paid the same fare as others and I felt violated. I was not going back. Emmett Till and I was about the same age. A week after he was murdered, I stood on the corner of a gang of boys, looking at pictures of him in the black newspapers and magazines. In one, he was laughing and happy. In the other, his head was swollen and bashed in, his eyes bulging out of their sockets, his mouth twisted and broken. I couldn't get Emmett Till out of my mind, until one evening I thought of a way to get back a white people for his death. The murder of Emmett Till in trial sparked the bus boycott of Rosa Parks, who was a seamstress and part of the NAACP. On December 1, 1995, she was arrested and put to jail when she refused to give up her seat to a white man on an Alabama city bus in Montgomery. This led to Montgomery bus boycott that lasted for 381 days to fight for more individual rights and equality for African Americans. This event was significant as it contributed for a civil rights movement for more equality towards African Americans. The murder of Emmett Till trial has inspired Rosa Parks to start her Montgomery bus boycott that took an impact on Congress. They passed the Civil Rights Act of 1964, outlawing forms of racial prejudice and segregation and the Voting Rights Act banned the discriminatory voting practices. The murder of Emmett Till in trial influenced the desecration of Little Rock Central High School in 1957. Nine black students were able to enroll into an all-white Central High School in Little Rock, Arkansas in September 1957. The court ruled out that all public schools in the country must be integrated against the Jim Crow laws. On September 4, 1957, Governor Orval Phelps asked the state national court to bar the African American students in its entry to school. Then, after a month, President Dwight D. Eisenhower used federal troops to escort the nine boys in the first day of school on September 25th. In fact, the murder of Emmett Till in trial has taken a great deal of an impact towards the African American society. 
The discrimination and brutality done to Till inspired people to start fighting for more equality and rights for African Americans. The desegregation of the Little Rock Central High School has proven to society that African Americans are human beings and have the right for respect and equality. It led for more people to join the Civil Rights Act movement and fight against prejudice. The murder of Emmett Till in trial took place in Money, Mississippi on August 24, 1955 as a result of the fact that America's founding ideals weren't being fully realized by African Americans. During the murder of Emmett Till's trial, some of the ideals had been violated. In the end, the legacy of Emmett Till aided in redefining the true meaning of America's founding ideals. America's founding ideals haven't been realized by African Americans during the 20th century. They are faced through multiple ways of discrimination and brutality through lynching by the KKK and through the Drinker Laws, who is separate but equal as an excuse to provide less equality for African Americans. In addition, leading on through this violence and prejudice present in America, a 14-year-old boy was murdered by the hands of two white men and were given the not guilty verdict. In fact, they have violated the founding ideals of equality and individual rights. This sparked a variety of movements, such as the Montgomery bus boycott and the integration of schools to redefine America's founding ideals. Some current issues occurring today is that African Americans Unemployment rate is twice higher than whites, and only 12% of white children live in poverty compared to 45% of African Americans. In addition, 30% of African Americans go to school where 90 to 100% are Latino or Black, according to a 2012 study. African Americans are driven more into special education and get less access to gifted or advanced placement programs. Housing discrimination is also present where owners don't offer African Americans apartment rooms because of their color. In 2015, the killing rate of African American men was five times higher than the rate for white men of the same age, resulting in a total death of 1,134 people. To prevent such discrimination against African Americans, one could visit the website of blacklivesmatter.com to learn more about what's occurring in American society and contribute to the Black Lives Matter movement. Through this act, one can support African Americans for them to realize their dreams and to provide opportunities to improve their lives and fight against oppression. Through this, one can help them spread their voice throughout the world. African Americans are human beings and deserve the same respect, opportunities, equality, democratic participation, and freedom just like everybody else. Their lives matter just as much as it does for anybody.